A handful of franchises have claimed to be America's team, but not, none of them have a resume quite like the USA Patriots. As the Patriots return to Toledo for a softball triple header at Mercy Field this afternoon, but as BCSN's Joel Sebastianelli tells us, what's most important isn't the numbers on the scoreboard, it's the money raised by donations and the impact on kids' lives. This is about the stars and stripes. The fans out here, out here, as you can tell, they're really moved by the music, the ROTC group. It's just really inspiring. And softball. I was a baseball player and I thought it would be fun to try, so we did that for a weekend at the University of Arizona. Now I'm here, you know, 10 years later. But it's really about so much more. I'm a U.S. Marine and I was deployed to Afghanistan in 2009 where I, uh, unfortunately, my vehicle struck a 200-pound IED and it rendered me a bilateral amputee below the knees. He's not alone. The USA Patriots are America's amputee softball team. I joined the Army in uh, 2006, and then I was deployed to Iraq in 2007, August 1st. I was in a Humvee, and a roadside bomb went off and uh, broke my leg in 13 different places. They travel the country using the sport as therapy for themselves. We started back in 2011. It was just supposed to be a softball camp, and it turned into this, uh, this setting where guys can get together. It, it kind of turned into like a mobile VFW or Legion, but it's nice to have that support group even playing softball. And others. It's one of the biggest blessings that I can look back on and reflect upon because uh, it's allowed me to serve beyond the military uniform. Today, the Patriots play against the Toledo Police Department, local celebrities, and the UT Rockets. Proceeds go towards future amputee kids camps. Some of these kids are wearing long sleeves if they're missing arms, or they're, they, they never wear shorts, they're, they're afraid, they're scared to just kind of be themselves, and we teach them that this is who you are now. You know, finally, they'll wear shorts, they'll go out in public and be fine. They finally feel normal for a change because everybody's like them. When you come out there and you're an able body, you're finally the one that's different. We teach them to adapt and overcome, just like we were taught in the military. One of the kids on our team now who plays uh, right center field, he was at our very first kids camp and now he's on our team. So it just it comes for a full circle. Life without a limb is limitless, that's their motto. And you know, as you can see out here today, they're playing superb ball, you know, with a limb, it's amazing. So it shows these fans what they can do also if they have a similar uh, predicament. It's more than a game. You realize everybody out here is missing a body part, so you know the little bumps and scrapes in life seem to kind of fade away. And you're like, you know, what, what do I have to worry about? What are my excuses? It serves as, as hope and perseverance for the community, but it also changes lives. At Mercy Field, Joel Sebastianelli, BCSN.